What is up you guys, Matt here, Mr. Matt Darnell, and here in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can install uh, games on your Reset Glow Check Xbox 360 or your JTAGged Xbox 360 or your RJTAGged Xbox 360. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need Freestyle Dash 3 or Aurora. I'm going to be showing you guys the Freestyle Dash 3. Uh, there will be a link uh, in the description below on how you can get the Freestyle Dash 3 along with XCX Menu and Dash Launch uh, in the description below. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and let's get started. Alrighty, as you can see here we are on our Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360 or our JTAGged Xbox 360 and you want to go ahead and put your game in the tray or the DVD disc tray that is of course if you have the DVD once we have it in as you can see I have Battlefield 3 here I'm going to be installing the single player disc uh, for multi-disc games like GTA 5 or Halo 4 I'll have another video showing you guys how you can install multi-disc games as well as how you can install games uh, from the internet but this is how you would install a game if you have the uh, disc for it let's go ahead and put the disc in the tray and you want to go up to utilities under utilities here go to DVD extract now right here uh, go ahead and click change go to your hard drive it will be HDD1 or HDDX go ahead and go there if you don't already go ahead and make a directory and make it uh, name it the games so you have a games folder here and just go ahead and select the directory press Y as you can see there that's our destination path uh, under include system update folder uh, just uncheck that you want to make sure this is always unchecked unless you know what you're doing and under game title name it should find it automatically however if it gets the wrong title or it doesn't have a title you can press change here and you can enter the title manually and we can go ahead and click start copying alrighty guys uh, I'm back here as you can see we have copied our DVD to the hard drive once we have it copied to our hard drive you just want to press B it'll go back and if you notice we go to file manager here we go to HDD1 or HDDX we go to our games folder and we go to Battlefield 3 as you can see we have Battlefield 3 installed here and we're just gonna back out here and we're just going to go to setup and go to settings once we're in settings here, we're going to go to content settings, go to manage game paths, press Y to add one, go to change path, we're going to go to HDD1, we're going to go to our games folder, once we're in our games folder here, we're going to go to Battlefield 3, or whatever game you installed for that matter, in this case I'm using Battlefield 3 as an example here, but like I said, you can do this with any game that's a single disc. Go ahead and go to your directory and you want to find default.xex go ahead and press A to select it and press Y to select your directory as you can see we had to go into two folders to get our default.xex file so that's what you want to set your scan depth as in this case mine would be 2 now down here if it was an Xbox Live Arcade game go ahead and select Xbox Live Arcade since it's a 360 game, we're going to select 360 here. If it was a classic game, you would select Xbox Classic, Homebrew for Homebrew, and on and on. Or you can select Automatic and hope that Freestyle Dash does it automatically for you. Once we have those selected, go ahead and press X to save. And we'll back out here. Once we're backed out here, we're just going to go to Xbox 360 games. And you'll notice that I have Battlefield 3 right here the single player disc and we can go ahead and play this without the disc and we don't need our disc to play this game thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video 
like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I'll have future tutorials for GA Tags and Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360s coming up soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Till next time, I will see you.